Think of a shared drive like a company drive. A company drive is like what we used to have on a server. If you had a Microsoft or an Apple server where you would store all the company information. Where do you save contract information for team and project management and management client communication? without giving access to all team members? Well, that's a good question. I guess this person is relating to Google Drive or asking about Google Drive specifically. So let's go give them some help with that uh, with Google Drive and show you how we set things up in Google Drive. Now, if you are interested, I've, I've actually got some pretty in-depth guides on this on the channel. So if you head to our channel, you'll be able to search here for Drive. And I've actually got an in-depth guide on how to set up all of your shared drive permissions, group-based permissions, and it basically everything that you need for that. There we go. Okay, cool. So that guide there will give you absolutely everything that you need to know. So if you're, yeah, if you're interested in some help um, with getting your Google Drive permissions set up, then, uh, then go ahead. But I'm going to give this person the basics because we always get a question. Now, inside Google Drive, when you're on a business plan, uh, you have access to both your My Drive, but then you also have access to shared drives as well. Think of a shared drive like a company drive. So a company drive is like like what we used to have on a server. If you had a Microsoft or an Apple server where you would store all the company information. Now, the important characteristic about a shared drive on a company server was that it was managed by a business or managed by a company, meaning that they had control over it and they could choose what files were put in, what files were put out, who could access, who couldn't access. Now, shared drives instead of inside of Google are pretty much the same thing, the same kind of concept where you've got a whole bunch of drives, they're controlled by the company. And when they're controlled by the company, the company basically can choose what goes in and what goes out of those files and those folders. So you'll see here, we've got lots of these for IT Genius. I can also be a member of shared drives that are owned outside my company. So you can see here, there's some here owned by Genius Creations. And then if I scroll down, there's some other businesses that I'm involved with that have ownership there as well. So that gives me um, access to these shared drives, but what do the settings actually look like? Well, if I go to a shared drive here, like my uh, marketing shared drive, the attract drive, and I go to manage members, you'll see here different groups of staff have different access and different levels of access give people different privileges based on those different levels of access. So my recommendation for this person, I'm not going to go into detail because I've got so much trading on this on the channel already. But if you want to lock down certain things to certain members of your team, or certain uh, parts of the company, this is what you would do, you would set up a group, you would apply that group to a shared drive, and then you would put your sensitive documents in a certain shared drive that only certain groups of people would have access to. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.